Good morning, everyone. Today is another video about using up what you got. So today we are going to be making sweet and tangy chicken wings. This comes from Taste of Home Slow Cooker. Now I am going to be making my chicken wings in the air fryer, but we're making a large amount because I have a lot of chicken wings in the freezer. And I'm gonna to explain to you why I have so much of that and why we are going to be making them sweet and tangy. So it's so simple and easy. Now, using what you got, oftentimes you will find a recipe that may have a few ingredients that you do not have. And that is where you can have your creativeness and that's where you can just pretty much use whatever you got. I am omitting some of the things in here and I'm adding some things. I am gonna share with you the complete full original recipe, but what you're watching in the video is not the original recipe. The original recipe calls for three pounds of chicken wings, and then it calls for a half a teaspoon of salt, one and a half cups of ketchup, a fourth cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons of Worcestershire, a tablespoon of mustard, and a teaspoon of liquid smoke. I'm adding those ingredients, but I'm making them much larger. So I'm going to also be vacuum sealing them. That way it will save a lot of space in my freezer, plus, I'm gonna get these all seasoned because hubby likes them this way. I'm going through my freezers as well, not just the pantry, but all kinds of assortment of things that I have. Home canned ketchup. I have my cherry smoked salt. I have some brown sugar, a little bit of vinegar, and I also have some of this other smoked salt. And I found some of this, and this was dehydrated honey crystals. Well, I need to get this used up, so we're just gonna add a little bit of this. Uh, mustard, some hickory smoke, I think it called for that. It's optional, but we're gonna add it. And we're going to add some Worcestershire sauce. Now, this and this is really salty, so that means I don't need to add hardly any salt to it. We don't cook with a lot of salt. Okay. Let me show you all of these chicken wings. So why do we have so much chicken wings? One bag, two bags, three bags of chicken wings when we only have a tiny freezer. Well, that is because we went to the store. It was $15 a bag, but if you buy one bag, you get two free. So they were $5 a bag. $5 for a big bag of chicken wings, but I don't have freezer room for all these big bags, so I'm hoping if I vacuum seal them, it's gonna make it a lot smaller, and I'm also gonna vacuum seal them into individual portioned meals. All right, so basically we're gonna make the sweet and sour sauce. I am going to triple the recipe. One recipe is for three pounds. I don't even know how many pounds one bag is. One bag is four pounds, so precisely it would be three pounds, but generally, one recipe would do one bag like this. So that means we have to triple the recipe. I'm gonna put everything together here and speed up the video, and then I'll show you what we do next. All right, let's give it a taste test. Oh my word, that's perfect. It needs nothing else, seriously, that is amazing. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to dip the chicken wings in it. I think this is the easiest way to do it. So, oh, that is so good. That actually makes the best barbecue sauce for just about anything. Even, I could even can it. It would be amazing canned. So we're gonna make sure we coat them really, really good. This would be amazing for marinade, to marinate your chicken overnight. Chicken breast, any kind of chicken. This is really good. Now, I'm probably going to have to make more than just this. All right, because I don't have any pre-cut bags, I'm gonna have to cut my bags for the vacuum sealer. So we're gonna go ahead and cut them ahead of time. 
I really have no idea how many this is going to make, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut some of them ahead of time here. All right, so what we're doing is we're putting them in meal portions of 10 of them. Now it's a little bit of a messy procedure, but the mess is inside the bag, not on the outside. I have 11 meals. So I have 10 of these and one meal for today. I just cleaned out the freezer on top of my refrigerator, so I have plenty of room for these. We're gonna go ahead, put these in the freezer, and then we're gonna start on some lunch, and we'll have one of these for lunch. All right, so now we're going to make some rice. That's what we're gonna have for lunch, and then we're gonna have some of those chicken wings. I use my dehydrated vegetables. Now these are store-bought, and these are amazing, but all dehydrated vegetables you can put in here, and I'll show you what we do. So I added two cups of rice to four cups of water, and I'm using my rice maker. And now we're just gonna go ahead and sprinkle some vegetables in. You can also use frozen vegetables, it works just as good. All right, we're gonna put this in the rice maker, and then we are going to make our chicken wings in the air fryer. And then I'll show you what it looks like when the meal's done. I do have a little of my cheese. Don't tell anybody, but I like my cheese. <laughs> I love this canned cheese, especially with the Amish and her amazing pepper jelly in it. It is the most amazing thing. Now we're gonna put the chicken wings in the air fryer. If you don't have an air fryer, a oven will do. There you go. All right, the meal is done. So we have the chicken wings. These are the chicken wings on top of the rice. So there's hubby's meal. I'm just having plain rice with mine. With a little of my cheese sauce. So there you go everyone, we have rice with some vegetables and we also have some chicken wings. We cleaned out the freezer, we made a way that we could use all these chicken wings, very flavorful and delicious, and I say it's a win-win. Take care everyone and we'll see you guys again tomorrow and I have this small little product review for all of you. Buddy, I hope you're enjoying the video. Today I'm just going to share with you at the end of this video this product here. Now, this is not on Amazon, I don't think so, but I will share with you everything that you need to know in the description. So it's called Peppermate, and it is a ceramic grinder and has a lifetime warranty. So this is something new for me. I've never seen one of these before, but I'm going to open it up and show you what it looks like. It's very different. There's no bells and whistles, so this is what I would call old fashioned. It is hand cranked, so you're just gonna hand crank it, which is really nice. You don't have any batteries, you don't have any electricity, you don't have any USB plugs. And also, I wanna share with you the five peppercorn blend. So this is the five peppercorn blend, the same company sells this. It's premium and it's fresh. We take green pride in selecting top quality spices. So I'm gonna put it in here. So you just fill it in the top here. So simple. I love things that doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles to it. It's just really simple. You're just gonna put it in here. It's easy now, wasn't it? Now we're just gonna put the lid on like this. And then we're going to turn it. And it, wow, it makes it really fine. 
So you can actually put it onto your food or you can actually grind it into this little cup. Really nice and fine. This is nice. All it needs is your hands and it's really easy. See, look, it's really easy. That's all you need to do. Really like this. So it's called the pepper mate. Is that what it's called? Yes, the pepper mate. Really easy to use, a little bit old fashioned, but it gets the job done with no effort. And also the peppercorns. 